What's up boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Outer Wilds. Uh, I'm going to go back to the Ember Twin. Let's see if we learned anything new. Uh, I think we did Anglerfish Fossil. No, my children used to play a game in Fossil Fish Cave. There is a way to enter Fossil Fish Cave from Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. Oh, okay. Alright. And the Sunless City. Don't mind the Nomad travel to this solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. Yeah. There's more to explore here. Okay. So that's, uh, that's what I plan to do. Let's explore the rest of it. If I can land on it fast before the sun starts to melt, uh, to melt, to uh, pour into December twin. Okay, so here's the cannon. We know there's an entrance close by. I can just get my. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Alright, here's fine. Fuck it. Alright, so where's the entrance now, you ask? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I kinda... I know it's somewhere here. Oh. There it is. All right, here we go. Shit. Holy. Oh my God. All right, it's all good. Oh, I thought I was just about to die there. <laughs> okay. Never mind that. Oh, I can't see anything. Open the door, please. Let this be opened already. All right, so we want to reach. Let's illuminate all of this. I energy level. Holy shit! Hold up. Oh, look at this. The iron energy lab. Okay, nice. Alright, uh, quick. So, we were quick about it this time around. Uh, let's see, let's just follow the cable, I guess. Okay, so through there. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, couldn't get past it. Let's try a bit higher. Nope. Couldn't pass it either. Okay, maybe we'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, we have three minutes of oxygen. Hopefully there's oxygen at the high energy lab. I'm just gonna wait here a little bit while the uh, sun fills up the room. So we can 
go across it with a relative safety. Just check the rest of this room. I'm sure, there's nothing. No, I don't think there is. And these uh, these two planets are uh, quite a doozy. So you have to time everything perfectly so we can explore the right parts at the right time. Those aren't usually. Still have the angler fish as well. Let me. Can we go across? Not yet. I can still see the um, the cactus. All right. Okay, cool. We made it far. Just gotta make sure we're quick. Oh shit! I'm also running out of oxygen. This isn't good. I think we made it though. I think we're in. Okay, possibly not. Not yet. <laughs> oh, are you joking? Oh, please don't run out of oxygen. Not yet. Uh... Okay, I see the entrance. Just over there. Oh my god, that was that was <laughs> that was uh, close, to say the least. All right, I think we're in. We're definitely in. All this. Let's start touching shit. I don't really see... Remove? Warp core? Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver at Brutal Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simply a machine error. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a neg negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial things first, our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding hole. Black hole. How is that possible? Really? That is possible? Okay, let me remove this scroll. Place this one here. See what that does. Uh, an update. Our experiment has here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it, it visible to the unaided eyes. Uh, to that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Remy Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiments. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Remy and I were, are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. 
This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What's a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application? Uh, what is this as well? Oh, this reroutes the energy, okay. From the Sunless City. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else up here. What is this diagram? Oh, the towers all point to one of the planets. That's pretty interesting. Uh, the Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible, that is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis, creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Remy, so I believe it's you who's hairy form. Remy and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. Oh, did they actually did it? Uh, the Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use towers like the ones we have on the Whitehall Station to connect each planet directly to Ash Twin? Oak, Brute, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Of note, each tower of Ash Twin will lead to a different planet. We can design each tower to visually reflect the planet it links to. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. Oh, so each tower directly links you to... I didn't know that. Okay. So wait, this... It links you to the core of it, or does that one link? What is that? To the sun? Maybe to the sun station? Okay, so I'm gonna go check this one because, like, I mean, uh, I'm I'm in the twin planets, and uh, we need to. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, okay, so whenever. The sand is not there, so completely uncovered by the sand. Is that what the diagram is saying to me? I think so. Okay, let me test uh, my my hypothesis. <laughs> oh, and this is the door. Okay. All right, so we're not going back from the same. Oh, wait. Before we do that, let me check. Can we recreate their experiment? Uh, so what do we do here? Are they holding? Are they holding? Take this out. Can't see anything. How do we place these? Oh, he near? Okay, hold up. Like... That's an empty one. And a white hole one. That dude. Nothing. 
uh, two white holes. Okay, maybe they're in different uh, sides. No, it doesn't matter, okay. Uh... Hold on, let me just start putting these in the walls. Uh, a black one. Oh, okay. Can I send my camera through it now? Yeah, so you can look before it's even before it's even gone through. So just like a, as an experiment. Then we have two black ones. No, I don't think we can. All right. Uh, cool. I guess we recreated their experiments. Let me uh, reroute the power back to the Sunless City. So when we go back. Okay, I will. I want to go on my ship now. Uh, it's on the other side of the world. Hold up. Ugh. I mean, there's still a lot of sand to be uncovered. Maybe we can uh, squeeze. Let me try. Uh, where was the thing? Maybe we can still have enough time to uh, Can't see anything uh, What was through here? Uh, the anglerfish overlook, yeah. Let's place a... A lantern there. Real quickly, as they suggest to do. Like... Like there, okay. And we can now go through the stepping stone cave. Uh, which was somewhere I do not know anymore. Uh, here? Is it here? Gravity cannon? Nope. Shit. I think we missed uh, the opportunity. Oh well, doesn't matter though. We'll come back shortly. We missed the opportunity, but it's all right. It's okay. Shit. So I'm running out of fuel as well. <laughs> Fuck. I need to get out of here. Go back to my ship. Let's take a gander then at the Ash Twin. Uh... Where is it? 
on the other side. Yeah. It looks like it's toying with me. Oh my god! I think I'm getting pulled by the sun. Okay, okay. No stress. Alright, so the tower I'm interested in is like the two towers. Yeah. Like these two. Oh, so this... Oh, okay. I kind of get this technology now, I think, a little bit. Also, should find a scroll for this. Do you have a scroll, mister? fuck am I? <laughs> what? Am I at the core? I think I am. Jesus Christ. We got here. Like, this is where the towers go. The twin towers. Oh my... And we've seen this projection pool many, many times. Alright, what does this say? What? What happened? 18 minutes, 16 seconds ago, retrieved data from previous cycles. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module, giant deep's memory statue, timber earth's memory statue. Four minutes until end of cycle transmission. So yeah, they received the data. So this is the Ash Twin project. It receives the data here. 18 minutes ago, it received the data and we have four minutes left. And uh, both masks, me and um, Grabo, touched. Today we finished the excavation of the Ash Twin. Here, in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambiguous project yet, the Ash Twin project. Powerful enough, powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating, relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We will need to keep our eyes on how significantly, significantly we've altered the environment, er, environment er, here. Sorry, I'm so excited I can't even read this. How far have we come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab? I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Pope just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ashtoon can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Kasav is working with Avans to crafts the orbital probe cannon and where Flox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis, it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through the Ash Twin now and also that I am no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Ivans uh, advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Ivans can. But then if anyone can go the device into exploding, that too is likely Ivans. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Ivans that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is it Malo part of the problem? Bloxen has finished the memory statues today and they're all truly remarkable. When the Ashtrin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. I guess it kind of succeeds. It succeeded, yeah? I'm not sure. So much information here. Just retrieve that probe. Alright, thank you. 
Pai and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and he has last is completed. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here it is what here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompt, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order from the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. So uh, this is how the cycle is formed. This is how we're stuck in this time loop. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin, Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station to generate power of that magnitude, the supernova is still our vi only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friends. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the Sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need to find some other way to halt our aging process. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has nearly arrived in this solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored something new, so we're excited to, to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. My goodness. There's more information here. I've installed the mask inside the Ashton Project Flocks, they look beautiful. Oh, I guess we already... Okay, yeah, we already read this. This is the same stones we keep finding everywhere. Uh, yeah. So they get this, like... This is, this is how they communicate, like, memos between each other, I guess between the different planets. before. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Artificial gravity control. Uh, no, maybe, maybe. Oh, we stopped it. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Not sure. Wait, how can I read this now? Uh, we're about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. What? So if I disable this, there is no more... The time loop ends. But I have yet to find the eye of the universe, so... Should I do this?
I mean, uh, we came all the way here, right? Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's leave it. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's not do that. Oh, the sun's going supernova. Okay, so we now know how to stop <laughs> the time loop. Ah, it's so cool. I was thinking, like, when they said, when they firstly said, we need an, an amount, an, like, an enormous amount of energy to send something back 22 minutes later, then I was like, supernova, that's gotta be it, it's gotta be related to it. So yeah, they they caused they caused the supernova. It wasn't the sun on its own that caused the supernova. Man, that deserves a uh, marshmallow. Uh. Man, I don't know if should I talk to someone. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what the uh, ship has to say. Uh, okay, we know about the... Uh, yeah, the gnome I wanted to know if a 22 minutes negative time interval was possible. You required a lot of energy, yep. A new technology. Uh, tower map. A map of the towers of Ash Twin's equator. The tower of Ash Twin allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all the other locations crucial to the Ash Twin projects. Each tower, yep. Hold out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing in the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with Nomai masks at Attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module Giant Deep and Timber, Timber Earth, respectively. The Ash Twin project was designed to use the energy from a supernova. Yep. Sun Station did not work, although the Ash Twin project was theoretically sound and Nomai was unable to power it. Uh, there is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Re removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. Okay, so maybe I need it. I need that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh... I kind of want to go visit the uh, sun station now. But first, uh... fuck is that? <laughs> uh... Let's go again to uh, Ember. To the Ember Twin, so we can learn about the Anglefish. And how to avoid them. I'm not sure if we need to learn at this point. But it seems like a good idea to me, so. Right, so where's the cannon? Cannon, cannon... Oh, fuck, I overshot it, as usual. What? Oh, I banged. Okay. Here is the... Uh... Alright. Let's 
go back inside of here. We explored that one, we explored this one. Stepping stone and the anglefish. Alright. Uh also where does this lead? Okay, never mind that. <laughs> Uh, what I want to do is... Uh, what did I want to do? Oh. Okay, so this is the stepping stone cave. Have I been here? Yes, I've been there. Okay, okay. This is where I need to go after. Uh, currently, though, I need to go... Where's the... Uh... Where's the anglefish? Oh, is it here? I think it's here. Okay, yeah. So let's place a let's place a probe inside of it. Like the fossil. Uh okay, there we go, that that's inside of it. Now we should be able to see it from the uh, stepping stone. Oh wait, this is the stepping stone. I know what? Have I even been here before? So where is it? Through here? Oh no, I've definitely been here before. <laughs> uh, where is the uh, probe I sense? Is it there? Oh yeah, my scout is there, okay. Uh, how do I reach there? Okay, here we go. Oh, I needed more power. Yet. Oh my god. God fucking damn it. Alright. Here we go again. Step number two. Full power. Nice. Alright, so this might tell us how to evade them. Uh, whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if we can't see anything. And Pai says real angler angler anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Uh, 
it's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when you're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. If the angler fish catches you, you're eaten. Last little uh, fish to be caught is the new angler fish. The old angler fish gives the new angler fish the blindfold and it becomes a little fish. Oh, so they're blind. So we just have to move real quietly? Not make a sound? Okay. Alright, I guess uh, that does it for the anglerfish. Uh, let me go back to the ship. And uh, I'm going to use... Uh, Shit, just fucking stop illuminating the path I wanted to take. Uh, I'm gonna take my ship to the Ash Twin and use the warp. Fuck, I needed to go the to the energy lab. Uh, snap, hold up. Okay, anglerfish fossil, that's discovered as well. Real angler anglerfish are blinds. Okay. Uh, Black Hole Forge, I still have no idea what to do with that. Oh, the escape pod 3, we still have to find it as well. Uh, surface uh, energy readings, we still have to go and use, do that. But uh, it looks like we covered pretty much everything I'm not sure why some are in like full gray and others are like uh, they have color to them it's like the sunless city see it still has more to explore here but uh, like grayed out so I have no idea uh, Whitehall station there's still more to explore okay Sun station Okay, yeah, we need, still need to see that as well. Uh, where's the map, though? Okay, here's the map. Uh, shall we go to... Not Brit Sun Giants. Why is the other one? Is that the sun? Let's go to the sun one. Let's go to the sun's core. See what that... What is that all about? Or maybe that's the way we get to the sun station. Oh, I get you now. Where? Okay, so we would be... This tower right here. That we cannot go in. Uh, why we can't go in, you wonder? Because I think we have to wait. Or maybe not. Hold up. One, two, three. Uh, no, most definitely we still have to wait. Wait, how do I get inside of it? There are freaking cactuses everywhere. Hazard. So that's interesting.
Okay. Back to the ship. So we can't. Oh! Uh, how do I get inside? That is the real question. And I need to be there. I need to be there to be transported to it. Uh, could it be that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, guys. Uh, maybe I have to come here right really early on. I don't know. Okay, let's check out the rest of the towers. Which uh, which one was this tower? Was this Earth's tower? Not sure. Hold up, let me check the uh, log real quick. Earth's tower was... to the left. <laughs> or... Yeah, I guess to the left, yeah, why not? Let's see where we land there. Okay. Trying to study it. Study its form. It doesn't look... it's not this one. Uh, could it be this one? Potentially. Let me check that again. Hold up. <laughs> I forgot how it looks. Uh... Okay, so one's spiky, the other one has three like domes, the other one's like flat, like a, uh, a cone. And the other one would be, I think this one is Timber Earth. Uh, right? Yeah, this one is like... okay. This would be Brittle Hollows. And this would be... The Earth. So, let's land this. So yeah, we just need to wait. Holy. So we're passing through the sun right now. Earth was right there. We just need this to give a full uh, 360 and we should be good to go. Okay, here we go. The sun, the sun is coming. The planets are lining up. I guess we won't go anywhere specifically. We'll just go to that place we found. But still. I want to see if there's any surprises or not. Stand here. Oh 
but we kind of have to wait for it to be revealed. Okay. Never mind. I guess the sun doesn't quite reach there yet. Uh, we need we need to wait. Or did we? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Anyways, wait. What? Oh, we were transported to back. Amazing. Oh man, I was up there. I was at the black hole forge. Ah, okay. <laughs> that's, that's where I need to go, eh? Alright, let's do this. I was up there at the last floor. We could learn more about the Black Hole Forge. 